For you see, the character that takes command in moments of crucial choices has already been determined. It has been determined by a thousand other choices made earlier in seemingly unimportant moments. It has been determined by all the little choices of years past, by all those times when the voice of conscience was at war with a voice of temptation, whispering the lie that it really doesn't matter. Hi, my name is Derek Taylor, and I am um, from Hartville, Ohio. I live in Marlboro Township now. I am the men's assistant soccer coach at Malone University and work for Foreverlon. And uh, I have a wife of, a uh, wonderful wife of 26 years, uh, Julie, and uh, two awesome kids, Jairus, 24, and Kelsey, 21. I've always been a Ronald Reagan fan. President Reagan, to me, is one of the greatest modern day presidents. And I heard that he was going to be giving a commencement speech. He was the president at the time. And so he was going to be giving a commencement speech. So I just, I kind of enjoy watching stuff like that. And so I just turned it on. And the speech was quite long. That quote was part of it. And I just, I thought it was really impactful for those going into the military, but really had just a ton of of just meaning in life. Oh, yeah, Well, I think at the time the vote was, I think it was 1993, and uh, I was actually, um, Julie and I were to get married, so it was a huge change of life for me. Um, I was actually working for a company um, on a job that I never thought I'd be doing. I was hanging on the back of a garbage truck to pay my bills and to, um, you know, we were going to buy a house before we got married. I was going to buy the house, which I did actually, and so I bought this home and I probably wasn't surrounded by the best people in the world. Um, so, you know, I mean, I grew up in a family where we were all very close. My mom and dad were very involved in our lives, you know. I think throughout my life I had a, some adversity, I think, from a perspective of I switched schools every year from sixth grade to my junior year in high school and was always the new kid. And, and you know, and those that was kind of the adversity, but I had never faced, like, the world. My mom and dad somewhat protected me um, from that. And, and, and at the time, I think the other thing for me was... It, this is just me and my faith. I was somewhat lost, and, and, and so um, I think that whole thing with, with when I saw that speech, it, it really impacted me and, and made me start thinking about how important the little things in life, how they become big things. And what do I want my life to look like? What kind of husband do I want to be? What kind of father do I want to be? And, uh, the little things, even in coaching, the things that are the intangible things in the lives of our guys that, that have the ability, the power to, to, to really impact um, and, and, and to help challenge them to, to think that way. You know, when athletes even are in a game or are in a position where they have to be problem solvers, um, you know, the repetition and the practice we do day in and day out should allow them to make those decisions and they know what to do. I don't, I don't think it's any different than life. For you see, the character that takes command in moments of crucial choices has already been determined. It has been determined by a thousand other choices made earlier in seemingly unimportant moments. It has been determined by all the little choices of years past by all those times when the voice of conscience was at war with a voice of temptation, whispering the lie that it really doesn't matter. It has been determined by all the day-to-day -day decisions made when life seemed easy and crises seemed far away. The decisions that piece by piece, bit by bit, developed habits of discipline or of laziness habits of self-sacrifice or of self-indulgence 
habits of duty and honor and integrity, or dishonor and shame. Because when life does get tough, and the crisis is undeniably at hand, when we must, in an instant, look inward for strength of character to see us through, we will find nothing inside ourselves that we have not already put there. That's the bad side, upside, upside, oh. downside, sideways side. I don't know where I'm going, by the way. I'm gonna go down and get some gas. You want? Right.